Oh man, sweet new scramble arcade core. Just need to flip that screen. Nope. 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 Oh no. At least not always lost. As you can tell from the title of the video and the intro you just saw, that we have a new core for the Turbo Chameleon. This core is based on the Scramble Arcade hardware, and it currently supports 19 different games. Alistair starts with, following on from my arcade-related screen rotation work last month, I've been improving the rotation module and adding some filtering to make the scaling look smoother and more accurate. And as we saw from the intro, there's one swing of a monitor, rotating monitor, the type I have, the uh, left hand swing, that currently is not being fitted properly. I've messaged Alistair and I'm, I'm guessing it's an oversight. He'll let us know if that's going to be a limitation, but I'm guessing it's an oversight, and that'll be fixed. Alistair goes on to give some of the technical details on how he did this and what he's currently involved with. It looks like he's going to be picking up a different project here soon, but he's assuring us that he's not abandoning the Turbo Chameleon at any time in the near future. This brings me to a bit of a segue. Just uh, I implore you to go over to Course for Chameleon, go to the membership area, and support him. I'm no way affiliated with Course for Chameleon. I'm just a patron myself. The only real active core developer for the Turbo Chameleon at this point is Alistair here at Course for Chameleon. And if you're like me, you really appreciate what he's been doing for us. I've tried out all 19 of these games, and the only one so far I've been having any problem with is Dark Planet. The colors seem really off. The background color goes to a dark red and switches back and forth between the black and dark red. So there's, there's something going on with that. There's a few notable games here that work on the Scramble hardware. The most obvious would probably be this Frogger. Frogger is still a well-known game to this day. There's a couple others, like I'm sure Super Cobra is probably known by many. Sourcing these ROMs take a little bit of effort, but it's really not that difficult. As before, the actual ROMs aren't included for copyright reasons, so I'm afraid you'll have the usual fetch quest to obtain the requisite main ROMs and convert them to ARC ROM format using the MRA Dash tools utility see the enclosed readme on the recent irem m62 core release i did a video showing how to download and convert those and you'll see a card on the screen about now since then a little birdie gave me a few hints on how to make that process a little bit easier the actual conversions with the mra dash tools utility is the same However, how to source the main ROMs to be converted is now easier, and I'll kind of show you that. With the core comes these .mra files. These are used in conjunction with that mra-tools utility. These basically give instruction to that tool on how to convert them. The difficult part can be sourcing the main ROMs to convert because there's many different versions. What the little birdie told me makes things a lot easier. So say you're having a hard time finding a scramble ROM. Open that with something like Notepad. And it tells you what main version. It says 0209, so that would be 0.209. And if you know how to navigate it, archive.org basically allows you to drill down and get the exact ROM that you need. 
here we have all the main ROMs for that version. The name of this .mra file is the naming convention used for the main ROMs. So you can just copy it, do a search on the page, and search that name and there you go you can download that and use that with the MRA tools I'll leave a link to our this archive.org page down in the description let's look at a few of these notable games and I'll see you back towards the end All right, that new rotation module seems to do a really good job. If you're a Turbo Chameleon owner, I recommend this core. As always, make sure you download the right core for your version of Turbo Chameleon, either version one or version two. If you're not sure, check out the video I did on identifying it to be a card on the screen right about now. I suspect we might be getting an update to this core in the near future. If we do, I'll make another video covering it. That's about it for today. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.